YouTube community, welcome again to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well. In this video, we're back at the Oak Orchard, my favorite uh, fishing spot here. Uh, I'm going to just show you my setup, what I use. Uh, if you guys are interested in doing any salmon fishing in upstate New York, it's pretty important to have these few items that uh, you need uh, and you don't have to spend a lot of money for none of these uh, some of the stuff I've gotten on Amazon online so you don't have to be super expensive about, about this um, especially when you when I fish just a few couple times during the year so I'm gonna start right out the back um, you need waders I have these breathable waders so I bought them online um, they're very good too uh, you need these uh, this is very important because you need to wait out there to try to catch a fish the other thing you need is some good boots. I like these removable boots. They have a little felt on the bottom, so you need them. The other thing I use is uh, these cheap uh, polarized glasses. Uh, these are very important. I mean, you can see the fish and also, but the main thing you need to use these, I learned the hard way, uh, if just in case you don't have a good hook on the fish, um, these will protect your eye. I had one time I was here fishing. It was very dark, so I had I didn't put my glasses on, and I had a split shot come back to my eye, almost took my eye out. So these are important. I mean, you could glass the fish, but for safety reasons, I highly recommend you use that. The other thing I uh, highly recommend is uh, just getting. A, I have this this fly reel here. Uh, it's a nine weight. Bought it online. Nothing super expensive. It's nothing super expensive. It's a Pacific Sun nine weight, and I think it's nine feet long. So you need this. Um, this reel here, that is the behemoth there that I really like. The reason I like this one is because you're able to set that drag a little bit. Um, it's very important. You don't want the fish to take down down the road down there and just have issues. So I like something with a drag, and this has worked for me. It's probably my third season. I use this one, so I highly recommend this one too. Uh, another thing I'm going to show you about my setup here is, uh, give me one second, just giving you a little pointers here to help you along if you want to do this. Um, the other thing right here, I use the fly line, but I use so also use this main line here. The main line is 20 pounds, just it doesn't have to be very long, and then I like to use uh, fluorocarbon um, I use about three feet of fluorocarbon with a swivel right here and then something I learned this year which I think has helped me a lot is leaving a tag in like that um, so if you get caught on something it'll just slip each split shot of slip so and then I use a science number two hook or a four um, with a little uh, just a little soft egg in there so this is kind of my setup the other thing is I recommend these fish always get pressure really hard so I would highly recommend um, trying to you could start with 12 pounds then you work your way down from the leader because they see this stuff and they just move out of the way so just a couple little things you guys can use you can get this all online Amazon this is very cheap if you want to do it I don't think you need to be super expensive because I don't do it that often so whenever I get a chance so if you're gonna do it the whole season around then you could do that and the other thing too is I'm here the what they call St. Mary's archery shop archery club uh, I enjoy this because you're able to park they open from October to November I think he said November 11th uh, they do serve coffee they have bathrooms and the reason I like this spot is because you could walk right there and then if you need to use the bathroom um, you could go there and these guys are the great they're great I was able to talk to them for a little bit um, I haven't fished yet, so and stay tuned, see what happens, see if I can catch a few more salmon. And again, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Good. Yeah.
But thanks anyways. back at it um gotten a lot of kings today uh, here i'm gonna show you right quick i have another uh fish on right there he's not moving too much there we go look at that nice little brown i caught today or orchard it's on fire up here let me tell you Nice little brown. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful creation you made. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful brown. Well, folks, I had a great time here at Old Orchard. Uh, it was beautiful. There was fish around. So if you're thinking about coming down here, I highly recommend it. It's in, I think it's getting into the peak of the salmon season. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, guys, um, to keep praying for our country um, and around the world um, more than ever. Um, there's a lot of things, as you guys know, news is out there exploding with things going on in the Middle East, also in Ukraine, guys. So let's continue to pray for the people that are involved in this. And um, thank you again for watching. Get out there and enjoy God's great outdoors, hunting, fishing, hiking, and uh, go and enjoy this beautiful color out there, too. So we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.